Fufu is one of the main traditional delicacy of the Akan people, especially the Asantes. The traditional method for preparing fufu involves the pounding of wild cassava and plantain or kukuya into a soft, fine texture using the pestle and mortar both made of wood. Pestle and mortar are both derived from certain specific plant species purposely harvested from the forest. There have been technologies to replace pestle and mortar in fufu preparation in recent times. However, the indigenous people have rejected these technologies with claiming that the traditional energy sapping and time consuming method of physically pounding fufu using pestle and mortar is not only the most acceptable means but also gives the most preferred texture and taste. This explains why in most homes, chop bars, restaurants and even hotels still employ this method of fufu preparation so they can satisfy their customers to remain in business. This has also given employment to people who harvest certain specific plant species from the forest in large commercial quantities for the open market. Some of these people shared with GBC News where and how they get the plants for pestle and the availability of the plant species. <laughs> It is estimated that two million of these plants are harvested annually from various forest reserves across Ghana to be converted into fufu pounding pestles. According to the Wood Industry and Utilization Team lead at the Forestry Research Institute of Ghana, Dr. Emmanuel Banyele, the plant species harvested for pestle and mortar have become endangered, forcing dealers in both pestle and mortar to resort to other tree species and presenting same to the market on the blind side of the buyers. Traditionally, uh, Ghanaians have been using the species called uh, Nuclear the Derekai, or locally we call Kusia. And Kusia is, uh, can be found in the high forest zone, like I say, from Axim right up to um, uh, Sunyani, and a little bit beyond Sunyani to Techiman. So we can find uh, Nuclear. But oh, because due to over exploitation, due to fire, due to uh, mining and other drivers. It is known that Kusia now is threatened. It's listed as a scarlet red species. Uh, IUCN is putting it's vulnerable. It means what when they say is vulnerable, it means we can lose the the genetic pool for that species. That species is threatened. So we need to be very careful about its usage. It is in response to the situation that a retired scientist, Mr. Patterson Osaibozu, formerly of the Crops Research Institute of the Council of for Specific and Industrial Research, has developed an innovative means of increasing the shelf life of pestles. Mr. Osaibozu shed more light on this innovation. The problem is that some of the, the trees that they were using or they were selling as pestles, they are poisonous. Some of the trees are poisonous. In fact, they, they, they stated that some of them can even cause kidney problems. So I talked to those who are dealing with pistol and some of them said that, in fact, pistol trees, the, the recommended pistol trees are very scarce in the forest. In fact, some of them were even saying that they go as far as every coast to harvest these trees. In fact, the recommended tree is called Celtics. It is, uh, it is, it is scarce. And whether we like it or not, people will continue to use pistols. So one way of solving the problem is to cultivate these pestle trees. That is one way. And another way is to find a way of uh, economizing on the use of uh, the, the, the trees harvested. Mr. Osaibo also enumerated why the innovative pestle should be preferred to the traditional one. One plant, you can get about eight pestle heads. And this part is metallic reducer. In fact, originally it was the entire handle was a metallic but that is very expensive for instance from this uh, section to this section if it is metal it will cost about 40 ghana cities but plastic it costs about four cities and the entire pistol we have filled it with concrete to give the desired weight this one will not be suitable for chop bars 
So if it's chopper, you can uh, also increase the, 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 the length and it, you get the desired width. So this is permanent. The innovative fufu pounding pestle is for now on a very small scale adoption within the Kwamo Township in the Jesu municipality of the Ashanti region. According to Mr. Saibosu, he will need partners to produce it in commercial quantity for the open market to ultimately help protect the forest and the environment. You move the handle, the, the, 